hello guys welcome back to Zamirin guys so in this tutorial we are going to play our live streaming videos inside our Zamirin forms Android and iOS project so we'll be using streaming video provider and I'll give that link in my videos description below you can just get it over there and then sign it with your social account so at first let me select sign up with my Google test account and then we're just going to test our live video streaming is possible or not with Xamarin Forms project. So uh, first thing first, I have to click on allow and then it will take me to this dashboard panel. We can just see over here. Then at first we are going to create Wave TV. And you can just go uh, walk through this Wave TV tutorial. From here but I don't want to walk through it so you can just use some live IP camps also and they have a very good description of uh, providing uh, live camp uh, integration so at first we are going to create one Xamarin live TV and we'll just play the videos out of the playlist so the default playlist is selected at first and we have all the videos in the def default playlist you can just see over here the default playlist will be here and then if I click on it and we can just see every uh, our live TV also being displayed over here and then in the playlist section you can just create your own playlist add a new playlist and then add the videos to it and the video player will be playing our 24 hours videos repeatedly that is our from our playlist video so the web TV is going to take all our videos from the playlist so first thing first at first we need to configure our account in our live streaming video providers at first click on generate key then click on generate new API code and one thing you have to remember you have to click on save also now let's open our visual studio at first and create a new Xamarin forms blank app you can just give any name as you like here I'm giving Xam live video then uh, I'll just select it the app name and organization identifier you just don't need to do that and you can just create a new Xamarin forms live video page so uh, at first we are going to add plugin.mini media manager inside our Xamarin forms project so we'll be selecting plugin.mini manager.forms and it was just published in 2020 it might be different in your case now let's go to our main activity.cs where we'll be adding our platform specific implementation of uh, video player so let's wait till the package gets added now we will be copying this uh, platform specific implementation of android project that is cross media manager .current .init, and this is going to be added inside our main activity.cs Let's paste it over here and then inherit it from the video player that we have just now installed media manager video player so it might throw you an issue that uh, uh, it is not compatible with this uh, version so we'll tackle it out later for android so let's configure our ios project at first for ios 2 let's inherit it from our media manager plugin so this is the video view for our uh, UI video view and you can just play the audio too from cross media manager and let's remove it the code that we have got at the first initialization of the Xamarin forms app and we can just change the source of the code to anything you may like so it might be HTTP request or the HTTPS request so we have different configuration for HTTP request we'll add it later provide a height request of 250 or anything you may like and uh, it is totally optimized so We'll be playing around with height aspect field in the later part of this video. So this is my video that I'll be using it inside our Xamarin Forms application to in order to test our video player. If you are using HTTP request, then you have to implement this step. That is configuring your iOS project. That is adding your app transport security inside your info.plist file. So we'll be editing in our Visual Studio for Mac and if you are having the Visual Studio for Windows it has different configuration for uh, configuring your info.plist file you can just check it out how to configure your info.plist file inside your Visual Studio for Windows for HTTP request so now let's configure our Android project in order to do that we have to clear our text that is HTTP clear text this is my video and in the video's description 
I have one line of code that is that is to be added inside our Android manifest so let's click on source code editor and then paste this line of code that is use clear text and this is the second line of code that to be added inside our application tag and then it has to be ended with slash tag that is our ending tag that's all we have now configured our Android project to for live video streaming now our next work is to fix this issue that is cross media manager dot current dot in it that is a red scroll uh, that is inside our uh, uh, Android project so this might not be in your case if you are not getting that's really good and if you are getting that red squirrel uh, so we have to downgrade the video player version I'm going to remodify the source of this video and adding some background and grid that will uh, encapsulate our video view you can just play around with those views and give any height request or aspect field and just try the uh, video player and it works really great let's test it on Android and let's check it out whether it works for us or not okay we got our as expected output the video player plays the video with controls inside it now our next task is to get that video player running our live streaming videos so in order to do that inside the code behind of our main page we are going to create one method which will be called whenever our main page is initialized so inside our perform video operation which is a async task of video fetching method so it will just fetch the all the information that is required for our video player to run the live video so we are going to exclude the source of the video that we used previously in order to play the live media player video so it is going to play the video out of our media type dot hls that means it is going to play some live broadcasting videos so in order to do that i'm going to give an x name of my video player as x name equals the my video player source so it will be called from our the CS part of the project then this is the whole code that is only required in order to grab the videos out of the live streaming videos then we are going to call the APIs of them and then generate a URL link that will just play our videos 24 hours so uh, at first we are going to create one HTTP client that will just create a secure connection with the API of live stream providers and this is the section where we will be adding our API keys and the code so let's go to the Chrome itself and uh, we have already configured our app setting that is our API key so we we'll need to copy our API key let me copy it and then paste it over here then this is the section where we will be adding our API code so let me copy that API code don't forget to press on save so this is the section where I'm going to paste the API code that's all now we have now connected our Xamarin Forms app with their APIs and it's this uh, response one is going to provide me the authentication token at first from their live stream providers now we have to deserialize the response that we get out of that api let me inherit the preference that is just saving the tokens and for our later usage so this response is a class that will deserialize our response from the api endpoint so let's create a class name as response inside a folder named as models then create a new class named as response you can just give any name as you like so let me add the response class that is this is the class that is going to deserialize the response that I'm getting from our first API that is client.get async that we can see over here at the top so after getting that response we are going to add the authentication token and saving it inside the preferences so this is a better better way to save the uh, all the authentication token then our next objective is to get all the videos out of the URL so read the videos 
out of the whole URL this is the response for getting all the videos so it will be really long I'll give those source code in my video description below you can just grab it out so this URL the second URL uh, endpoint is going to provide me all the videos if you provide them the authentication that we get out of our first API so this is the second step of getting all the videos the first step was great getting the uh, authentication token the second step was to get the videos out of the API endpoint so in order to do that let's add newtonsub.json inside our project so that we can just serialize our object and then add all the videos to the videos list so our second step is done and our third part is getting the title you can just get anything as you like but here I'm just, I have already renamed it to something like jam live TV you can just check it out over here so I'm going to copy it then I'm going to paste it because we have created one live TV so we are going to search jam Jamrin live TV out of that video list and then we are going to call another API this is the third part where we'll be providing that Jamrin live TV video reference to the API in order to generate one URL that is m3u8 URL that will play the videos in order to do that let's create another response class this is the third response class that will deserialize all the contents out of our third API endpoint so let's get back to the code and we have to uh, remove that return code that we have used previously and let's add the code that we have uh, the below part now our root content 3 this is the third URL deserializer which deserializes and gives us video URL so the video URL is going to be added inside our video player but before that you can just check it out I have added here client.base address with the URI of the streaming video providers now let's put all the code inside track catch method so that uh, we can just catch all the exceptions that we got uh, during time of playing the video so you can just put some breakpoints and let's walk through the whole breakpoint process and uh, let's perform a full authentication flow and uh, get the m3u8 url out of the whole api so this is our first api that gets hit after running our video so you can just see over here we got status 200 okay so this is the first output that is serializer one it's going the response content one is going to get our first response from the API with the authentication token so we are going to save the authentication token from the live stream providers and the second API is going to give a list of videos which can be found inside root content 2 so let's go down let's go down here over root content 2 so you can see over here we have a list of videos uh, that will get out of the live stream video providers so so these are the list of videos and out of that videos we have already known that we have created a live video that is video source is live and the live TV so we'll be grabbing out Xamarin live TV and sending it to the list and filter the list and get the first content out of the video live stream video you can just see over here I have initialized a variable then we are sending that videos reference to the third API with the token so that we can grab the URL that is our fresh URL that is m3u8 URL which helps the video player to run the video so this is the video URL out of the third API and then the video player grabs the content then plays it so let's go to our mobile and let's see whether the video player plays the live stream video or not okay we got our web TV playing inside our Xamarin forms Android and it works same for our iOS too so that's all for this tutorial now thank you guys thanks for watching keep in touch for next tutorials